We've already covered many types of switches and push buttons that can be used when building cockpits in flight simulation gear. Although these are typical electronic components we find in real aircraft, we can have some fun with touch sensor modules as well. You can use these for many things. Let's say for example if you want your switches to be completely silent, you want LED indicators when something is on, or if you have a disability that doesn't allow you to easily push a button or throw a switch. Before we start, please take a second to like, subscribe and share as I will be posting more videos soon. Also make sure to review the video's description for links on everything you need as well as additional material that can be useful. In this video we will be using the TTP223 touch sensor module to create a touch switch which can be used together with LEDs and can be wired up to any Arduino or USB head device. The interesting thing about this module is that it has both momentary and latching abilities as well as reverting the on and off functions. Let's take a closer look at the module. For the most basic setup, which would be a push button or toggle switch, we would wire as follows. The VCC pin would go to a 5 volt power source, such as the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. Ground goes to ground, and the IO pin is the digital pin that will be assigned a function in the Arduino or the head card. This is the pin that gets turned on and off when your finger touches the sensor. To wire this up to a head card, you would need your own 5 volt power supply, and then proceed to wire as follows. Now let's add an LED to indicate when the switch is on or off. For this feature, I am using a 5 volt LED with a pre-wired resistor. We wire everything as we did before, but this time we attach the LED to the I.O. pin, which turns on the LED and also sends the digital signal to the interface card. Also remember that if you plan to use several touch sensors with their own LEDs with your Arduino or other card, it's recommended that you use an external power source. To change the configuration of the touch sensor, you have to create a bridge or jump the contacts on pins A and B, most likely by soldering. For example, to eliminate the momentary function, I put some solder on the B side, and now the sensor remains on until touched again. The following configurations are available, and also remember that you can wire these up to relays, transistors, or even put them behind a cover to create more interesting projects. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.